Hello and welcome uh, to Tarot Insights. It is Sunday, April 12th. For some of you, it's Easter. Some we've had Passover. Uh, and for some of you, it's just Sunday. Oh, okay, we've got people coming in. We've got Shana and Jesse, Jessica, Sally. Happy Easter, Shana. All right. Well, I'm not quite sure how many people we'll have up. Hi, Jean. Glad you caught the time time change. Not sure how many people we'll have today because we do have a time change. Today is at six o'clock. Up. Oh, hi, Raven. How are you doing? Uh, we have. Uh, it's at six o'clock because at seven o'clock I am doing family bingo. So uh, I am so excited. Up. Oh, hi, Sandra. Thanks for joining us. All right. Well, we're going to get started. We're not going to wait for too many people because. Uh, who knows how many we're going to get today. Oh, hi, Tammy. Glad you could join us. So, oh, and Roy. All righty. Well, let's get ready for Tarot Insights. So, it's uh, we're looking at the energy. Now, the energy is for all the world, right? And so, not everything is going to relate to you. Some things will, some things won't. Um, but it'll give you a general overview about what to expect. Oh, we got Ron and, and Susan. All right. So, let's start with Monday. What's the energy of Monday? Monday, we have a very traditional feel. This is the rebel card, you know, and so Monday, we may be feeling like our inner rebel is ready to come out. I feel like you're going to be finding that more and more people are struggling with staying, playing by the rules, and you may hear about more... Um, theories and more ideas that are a little outside of the box. Up, oh, Hi, Vicki and Maureen. Glad you could join us. We're up to Tuesday. The energy for Tuesday, I feel, is going to be a little bit emotional. Uh, we're going to be finding Tuesday that we, uh, if you have any friends that have uh, addiction issues, please check in on them on Tuesday because it may be a rough day for them. Oh, we had Debbie join us, Joanne, Susan, and my sister Ann. So Tuesday, uh, may be a day where people with addictions are struggling a little bit more. It's just an emotional day. And so let's be easy on ourselves on Tuesday. Jay, th uh, Ray, thanks for joining us. Let's see about Wednesday. What is the energy for Wednesday? Wednesday, we're walking away. We're recognizing that really what we need is inside, not outside. And so I feel that we're walking away from things that we thought made us happy. And so I see after this maybe emotional day of Tuesday, I think we come to an inner reckoning on Wednesday. I think we really recognize how much do I need? Oh, hi, Peter. Glad you could join us. How much do I need? How much do I really want? We're walking away from what we thought made us happy on Wednesday, and we're really looking at, I feel, looking within. Let's see what the energy is for Thursday. Thursday, we have the tower upside down. If any of you know Tarot, you're like, uh-oh, what's happening on Thursday? But remember, this card is upside down. This is a card that talks to us about our egos getting knocked off because God gave us a little bit of a head slap. And so <laughs> Thursday may feel like a head slap. But because the card is upside down, to me, I feel it's a lessening of it. It's not quite as strong. And so Thursday, I feel that we're really going to be looking at our egos, how much our egos uh, help us because egos are necessary right they help us get through the day but how much is it hindering us uh, how and I feel that kind of like the prodigal son goes back home in a place of humility I feel like we are going to be re coming reconnecting with our own humility our own appreciation of of all that is inherent in us versus what we feel like we have attracted from the outside world what we've done on our own and what we've created i think what we're going to be really looking at is oneness unity thursday i just think is going to be a very interesting day. I feel that if people are really attached to their outside egos, their personas, they're going to struggle on Thursday. But if you're on a spiritual journey, you've been working this a little bit, Thursday could be a day of great awakening. Up, oh, hi, and Angela and Jesse. Hi, Jesse. Glad you could join us. Let's see what we have for Friday. Friday is a day where we forget to take care of ourselves. Friday may be a day where we're being judgmental about everybody else and not looking at our own, you know, how 
house, make sure you clean your own house before you start judging everybody else. But also realize on Friday that you may have forgotten to clean your house and don't judge yourself. You know, just recognize what am I doing for mental health? What am I doing for my own well-being? Um, it seems like the beginning of the week is going to be up and down. I think for those of us who have uh, battled a lot of our demons, not that I'm saying I've battled all of mine, you know, nobody can say that, right? But those of us that are aware that we have demons <laughs> and that we've done some battle with them, I think this is going to be a fabulous week. I think you're going to find that you are really able to recognize where in life you have done well and where you still have work need to be that needs to be done, but it doesn't come from a place of judgment. I will say though, on Friday, make sure you're doing some self-care. Let's see about Saturday. Saturday, I feel that we're going to be uh, looking for others to, to be our savior and they're going to let us down. And so again, it's a very inward look. This is a, not an easy week. I'm not making everything, you know, uh, unicorns and, and sparkles. So this se week coming up seems like it's going to be one that really, hi Robin, glad to see you, really uh, triggers us. But I feel that it can trigger us into a greater awareness of our own divinity, of our own inner strengths that maybe we forgot that we have, or maybe we've listened to too many people that we saying we don't have it. You know, we have inner strengths. We are, we are divine by nature. And, and I think that we're going to have opportunities to tap into that. So then on Sunday, I think this is when we really start appreciating this card looks terrible, but it's upside down. So it means the end of running away. You know, I feel that we really learn to appreciate what we're going through, appreciate some of the uh, highs and lows that we're going through and that we are not feeling the need to socially isolate. I think that that by Sunday we'll recognize, okay, I'm going to do more things like my family's doing bingo zoom after this, you know, I'm so excited. You know, I think we're going to be finding that that we're reaching out more and recognizing that okay, it isn't the same way. It's not going to feel the same, but that doesn't mean it's not good. That doesn't mean it's not going to be helpful. And so this week really we look at Monday being the rebel, finding different ways to do things. Tuesday, a little bit emotional. Watch keep check in on your friends that have addiction issues. Wednesday, we're letting go of what we thought made us happy and we're, we're going after what really uh, is our new motivations, our new motivations. On Thursday, poop does hit the fan, I think, but I think really it's going to hit people that are really connected to their ego, their material life. Um, so I think that you'll probably see another dip in the stock market or something financial uh, that's going to hit us on Thursday. Friday, need to do that self-care. Remember, Saturday, nobody's going to save us. This is going to be an interior. You have your savior within whether whatever faith you belong to or or even no faith your savior lives within you and you have that ability to access it it does not need to come from outside and then with that realization i feel that you're going to feel much more self-sufficient much in a healthy way uh much more um motivated to explore all of this wealth of potential. Now, let me see what my message is. Oh, in the meantime, my other sister Gigi joined in. We have Christine, Linda, and Nancy. All right, so just give me a second and we'll see what the message is. not going to go that way no more. I don't know if that's an, an old hymn uh, or uh, an old um, song, but uh, it came to me as a song, almost like a Southern hymn or something like that. Not going to go that way no more. You know, I think that this is an opportunity to shift and change. And I feel that we're all going through shifts of changes that are appropriate for ourself. So my shift isn't going to be your shift. Your shift isn't going to be my shift, right? You know, we're all going to be going through shifts and changes, but I feel that when we come out of the end of this week, because remember, this is just for the week, this little message, I think that we're going to say, I'm not going to go that way no more. You know, I'm not going there. And I think that this is really coming to a realization that our old coping skills just don't work. And we're looking at finding new coping skills that work um, for us now. And it's okay that we may feel that 
oh, if, if what I used to do doesn't work, what do I do now? You know, I used to go shopping when I was depressed. You know, what do I do now? You know, get off Amazon. That's what you do now. You know, how do I find that new road to inner contentment? Anyway, it looks like it's going to be a uh, quite a week. <laughs> and I think with a lot of opportunities, have a fabulous rest of your Sunday. Thanks for joining me a little bit early. And for the family that's on, I'll see you soon for Easter bingo. All right. Bye-bye, everybody. Blessings.